can see the horses are grazing over there. I've been slowly grazing them in three paddocks. They're in their third paddock. But this is where I was bale grazing them through the winter. And there's loads of manure. There's loads of leftover hay. And you can see here, thistles and docks are coming up through because they're the hardiest characters. But what I'm gonna do, you can see this square, okay? This square full of manure and organic matter. You can see the last bale of hay they were eating is right here. What I'm going to be doing is doing a combination of things. You can see the docks and the thistles all coming up. Okay, so the combination of things are, I'm gonna be sowing seeds. These, this is a wonderful mix. Some of these seeds are so beautiful. Um, there's a, a sanfoin, um, salad burnet. I think that's a salad burnet. Yeah, those are two different ones. Um, there's clovers. The clovers are tiny. They're really teeny, squitchy, tiny ones. But if you look closely in that, you see all the different colors of seeds. So there's, I mean, the seeds are gorgeous. Anyway, so I'm, this is a very diverse mix of red, white clovers, salad burnet, sanfoin. Um, there's different grasses. There's rye, orchard fog, um, sweet, fesc sweet vernal, um, fescues, uh, broad, broad mix of grasses, herbs, and legumes. I think there's vetches in that as well. This is ash from the wood stove. So this is firewood that had been collected on the farm that has now been burned. And so the first thing I do is spread that. Then I spread the wood ash, which adds uh, the pot ash to the soil, which helps eliminate and lessen things like thistles. Thistles don't like pot ash, or rather they don't like ash. The horses are all interested in what I'm doing. Um, and then the final thing I do is I take the sprong, there's the fork, and I'm going to spread this leftover hay over where I've spread the seeds because this will protect the seeds from being predated by the birds. So yeah, a lot of the birds, a lot of the seeds will be eaten by birds because they'll see me spreading the seed but it's uh, kind of uh, preventative, as well as, I had a big coughing fit, <clears throat> um, as well as the uh, hay is like organic matter to be digested down into the soil. So there's a mixture of the fertility of the horse poop manure, and you can see here, the electric fence was right here, so they were grazing through the electric fence to get that little bit there. And you can see there's a bit of biodiversity in here. There's grass, buttercup, yes, there's thistles, but there's a bit of clover, uh, there's a bit of dock, there's a bit of uh, celandine, uh, there's a different kind of clover. The clovers you can see, some have the white on them and some don't, they're different clovers. So, and there's a, um, and that's not a dandelion. There's a dandelion. Um, anyway, so you can see the biodiversity. Now, up here, this has been growing on since um, the spring. You can see, I didn't spread this. This field was, uh, I didn't come out and spread, but that's okay, I don't mind. The hay will be rotting down, um, etc. But here you can see some clover. Uh, there's nettles and thistles, and I didn't manage to spread um, wood ash or seeds in here because I don't want to do it everywhere. It's constantly rejuvenating the seed bank. Here, I didn't hear either. It's a very marked difference. You can see where the ring was. That was where the ring feeder was, hay feeder. This was all the mulchy. Now here is somewhere. This is where I did the, when they were filming me in January, 
in the film, you'll see me spreading wood, ash, and seeds. What's interesting is they wanted me downwind, so I was spreading the wood ash on this side, okay, with the seeds. You can see there's a cowslip. That wasn't, the cowslip was not in the seed mix. But you can see there's yarrow, clover, a different kind of buttercup, etc. But where I didn't spread the wood ash, you can see the thistles are all coming through. So the wood ash fell all across that area and there's no thistles. But up here where the wood ash didn't go, the thistles are growing beautifully well. So I'll just have to top and mow them. But in and out of it, you can see there's uh, different kinds of clovers and yarrows and bird's foot trefoil and all kinds of different grasses. You can see this is one kind of grass uh, just by the color of it. You see that's paler, that's darker. So those are two different, you can see from the seed head. The seed head is like that there. And you can see this seed head is different here. So that's how what I'm doing is to improve. Here's another area where I spread the wood ash because they wanted me silhouetted by the trees. Okay, so they wanted that landscape with me throwing the wood ash. So I threw some here. You can ex actually see where I threw it. Here, I must have missed there where there's thistles growing because it was a windy day and all there. But where I didn't get the wood ash, the thistles have grown. So wood ash is great at eliminating thistle regrowth because they don't like soil that has it in it. What are you eating? What you chewing? You've got a stick. You have a stick. Will I throw you the stick? Let go. Good girl. Oh, <laughs> that was a really pathetic throw. Anyway, I'm gonna get to work. I'm doing it today because there's a lot of rain coming. And with a lot of rain, it'll soak the seeds in and it's less likely that the birds it doesn't look it at the moment. Beautiful skies, but the weather is coming from that direction and we're gonna have a huge downpour. So that's why I want to get this job done now. Essentially, I'm gardening out in the fields. If you're a gardener, you'll know exactly what I'm doing. So there we go.
my audience as I work. <laughs> They're all there, stick chewing, lounging, exploring. So getting there, bits and pieces. The pile is getting smaller as I slowly spread the hay around the place. Who needs a gym? I don't need a gym. <laughs> the horses have all taken to lying down in the sun in their patch of grazing. I'm slowly still working away at this. The dogs are still hanging out, taking it easy. Isn't that right, puppers? Yeah. 